Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I bring you a miniaturized version of my previous roots blower. This one I'm powering with a 550 and 540 motor. Uh, well, if you've seen the intro, uh, you know, you see how this ended. However, if you want to see how it goes, keep watching and I go through the whole thing from front to back. Initially, I started with this, printed the whole thing clear, and on the front cover I went without any actual bearings and just left the shaft sitting in the plastic bushings. And on the back you can see I got some 626ZZ bearings in there for the 6mm shaft. With this version, I wasn't really paying attention when I drew it up, and I went with the wrong thread size on there. And then playing around trying to get the, the manifold onto it. I ended up splitting the housing, I glued it together, it, it's just no good. This is a good working prototype, but so I have no way of really testing pressure or anything of it, but I will put the uh, flow meter up to it and see what we get. So that wasn't very impressive. To solve that problem, I printed out a different housing that has the proper bolt holes and everything. To fit everything the way it should so i'm going to rebuild this this one's a little bit different than the prototype here i fixed a couple other things and tried to tighten it up a little bit more since this one's not really working out for me i'm going to disassemble this and steal some of the parts from this one and use them on the other one so i'd use silicone to seal that up hopefully that's not too big a deal and i'm going to use this cover now one of my solutions to the inaccuracy of 3D printing was to make a flexible drive coupling the TPU. The idea is if this isn't quite aligned or not quite flat or whatever, it won't be too much of an issue. However, I think there's a lot of heat building up there for whatever reason, so that might become a problem in the future. Well, it's sort of holding up. It's kind of chewing it apart. Maybe I'll try a little stiffer TPU. Okay, so I got the shafts out of the other one. I'm going to pound them into this one once I figure out where my little step bushing is. So one of the other problems I had with the previous supercharger versions was sealing it. And now with these small shafts and plastic housings, I find that the uh, rubber seals generate too much heat and then everything starts to melt. So in an attempt to avoid that, I have no seals, no open faces on the front cover. It's just one piece sealed. And everything else from here back will be as sealed as well as I can. Okay, I got the back cover on. Now I'm gonna go with the 540 motor. Before that, I gotta get the front cover back on. Now, to seal it up, I wanna use silicone, because I used an anaerobic one that was supposed to seal before, and it didn't really work on my pumps. It just kinda pushed it out eventually. I need something that it's actually gonna dry. Originally, I 3D printed my flexible coupling, and as you can see, it got a little hot in there and started to melt the actual coupling part and since I'm planning on spinning this thing at maybe around 50,000 rpm maybe more I'm a little bit nervous about the plastic holding up anyways so I made up these guys
Well, with the metal coupling installed, I'm ready to do the flow test with the 550 brushed motor. Now, I don't know what the turn number is or really anything about this motor. It's from a drill, so I'm expecting maybe between 6,000 and 8,000 RPM. Well, that scored us about a five. Now I'm gonna do the pressure test again with the 550 motor. See if it does any vacuum. This motor, this thing scares me. Where is that? This thing uh, has shredded every single car, gearbox, propeller, or whatever I put on it, it's killed it. This thing is apparently safe to run up to 90,000 RPM, but at 6,000 kV, it'll easily go over 100, over 150, no problem. So I gotta be careful what I'm doing when I uh, light this up, because I'm pretty sure nothing plastics can hold together that kind of RPM. Now, this is the motor that's gonna be used at the beginning of the video, so watching this, you'll have seen what happens, whether it blew up or not, you know before I do. Well, I got her all hooked up. I'm going to give it a little bump just to make sure it works. I am a little bit terrified of what's going to happen. I don't even want to have my hand near this thing, but here we go. This motor hates me. Okay, it spins. That's scary. Ow. Okay, well, I had grease in there and that come out so fast it freaking hurts. We're here to do the 6,000 kV pressure test. Now this thing scares the hell out of me, so I gotta do this quick because I don't know how long this whole thing's gonna hold together. And putting my hand there is terrifying. But I gotta kinda hold it in place. <laughs> the gears might be shot already, uh, just after bumping it a few times. Okay, that's terrifying, but we got four pounds. All right, well, I can feel the heat from the, the housing and uh, the motor's already getting warm. So I'm gonna try and get the flow test here and now the motor spins the wrong way, but I don't feel like messing around with wires, so I just turned it around. So here we go. Or not. It's not really happy. I'm pretty sure it's shredding them gears. Okay, that was it. I don't know what just happened. Huh. Well, it shredded the front cover. That should be interesting. Well, we beat, I think, everything I've ever made. But you didn't hold up to it. Well, after the explosion, I decided to pop it apart and see if the gears were any good. And actually, everything's all right. So I could put this back together, put another front cover on it, and away we go. However, I think I'm going to make a front cover that houses bearings, but that'll be completely encapsulated like this, but with actual bearings instead of just expecting the shafts to rub on the plastic at that RPM. Otherwise, uh, the gears actually held up a lot better to that sort of abuse. And I expected, although I don't know how they would hold up to any sort of length of time running, it didn't really run long enough to see. But, well, it's a success-ish. 
I got uh, decent pressure and decent flow out of it, so there's some potential here. And this motor, playing around with it at this speed, gives me some ideas with some of the other pumps that I've made. So in the future, you might see this motor rear its ugly head again. At any rate, that's about all I have for this now, if I want to get this video out this week. So if you liked it, click subscribe, click the like button, ring the bell, you know the drill. Hopefully you'll uh, come back to see more. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have yourselves a good one.